This is a brief demonstration of the advanced screenshotting tool GreenShot. You can see I have GreenShot running here in the taskbar at the bottom right. I simply do as I would normally do to take a screenshot and that is to press on the keyboard that is the print screen button. That activates the GreenShot software and you can see that my cursor is now a rifle sight of some sort. I use it and it's very accurate. I use it to select the area of the screen that I would like to take the screen grab or the screenshot of. And I left click drag, I'm using from top left to bottom right. I left click drag to make the selection. Once I've made the selection, I let go of the left click button and I get this context sensitive menu. You could just save the screenshot. It would create a PNG and ask you to provide a name and a location. But for this demonstration, I'm going to show you what I believe to be possibly the most powerful aspect of the software and that's the uh, ability to open it directly in the GreenShot image edit editor. Right, here we go. It's quite an accomplished editor. Loads of functions as you can see. I could, for example, if I wanted to highlight part of the screenshot, draw a rectangle. You can select a line thickness. You can select a line color. It's just left click dragging again. There we go. Drawing the tension to that area. You could, if you needed to explain a series of instructions, you could use the numbering tool. Look there, click there, look there. There is also an obfuscate tool, which is very handy if there happens to be private information and part of an image which you do not want to include. There we go. We simply click it. Once again, we left click drag a selection and you will see that it obfuscates, it pixelates that area of the image. The last step is simply to save the image. It will save it as we can see as a PNG. We can give it a name as we normally could and a location and we click on save. It will export it, there's our confirmation, as a PNG by default.